Hi guys, it's Caitlin, and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm doing a journal and journal supply haul. I'm going to start by doing an update. This is my current journal. It's super chunky because I put in, like, um, I'll see if I can find an example. Um, during Christmas, I put in, like, pages of wrapping paper and then said who everything was from. But yeah, I'm going to finish this on... Um, the 31st, I think, yeah, this will be uploaded then, so I'm finishing it today, and then I'm moving on to a new journal I got for Christmas. This is by the brand Alphabet, and it's the, um, it's called the Redwood Journal. It's, like, made of almost, like, a corkboard kind of material, and it has, like, um, a really flexible cover. The pages look like this. Um, I already have all my like personal information in it but this is like my cover page I tried to use like little note cards and I used gel pen on these I, it got smudged but I still think it's nice and then there's like my information so yeah this is um, something I'm really excited to use I have the year on the cover mostly so I know which way to open it because I would always open it upside down but I'm gonna get into what I got I'm really thankful for all these. I got these all for Christmas from, mostly from my mom. Uh, so I'll show you the supplies I got first. The thing I'm the most excited about is this gel pen. Not gel pen, <laughs> fountain pen. Um, and I got some extra ink for it. That's the brand. I think it's Schaefer, maybe. But I got some inks for it. There's five there, and then this is the pen. And hold on, let me show you like the that's the tip of it. I don't really know how to use them, but I've been trying um a little bit to write with it. I've been using it every day. And another thing is this pack of 40 gel pens, which is why I said gel pen before, by the brand Purple Mountain Paper. And I've been using these. I love these too. So I don't use my pens I used to use before, I've been just using my fountain pen and all these gel pens. Um, I got, let me move this stuff out of the way first. These little alphabet stamps, and then um, an ink, just a black ink to go with. And these are by Studio G. So I've never used stamps before in my journal. And I'm excited to try them out. Then I got um, these Artist Loft watercolors. I know that there's like, people say that they're not the best. And I guess for like actually using for painting and stuff, they're not the best. But I just use them to like color the background of pages. So I think they're good. I already tried them all out on one page. I'll see if I can find it fast in my journal. See, this is what they all look like. They're like all sparkly. I also have a page um, where I tried all the gel pens and my fountain pen, which I'm not very good at so far, but these are the watercolors by um, Artist Loft. I also got this pack of um, pencils. There's like regular colored, pen colored pencils and watercolor pencils. So I also used those. There's like the regular ones. And these are the watercolor ones. The fountain pen kind of like transferred over and you can't really see them too good. But yeah, they're on there too. Now for the journals I got. I got a lot of journals this year. Um, and I'm really thankful for them all. This first one's from my dad. And um, it says she designed the life she loved. And it's by um, Indigo Paper, and it's super pretty. I want to use this in, um, like, the spring. The inside's white, and it has, like, white paper with these lines. I've used journals like this before, or I've used a journal like this before. So I'm excited to use this one in the springtime. I think it'd be really nice for that. Plus, I've been writing a lot more lately, so it's nice to have some bigger journals. 
The rest of them are from my mom. So this one is by Markings, and it's um, a spiral bound. But it's like a good spiral, and there's 400 pages in this. And it has um, different sections. So the first one's lined, and then there's a divider. Then it has graph paper, and then plain paper. I'm probably just going to use it all for writing, though, because I'll write on any kind of paper. But I really like it because it's so big and like I said I've been writing a lot more so I want to have some bigger journals so I'm not filling up too many um, this one is really cute I picked this one out from the Dollarama and my mom got it for me for Christmas it's by Studio and there's just 96 pages it's pretty small has gold edges and there's just like a, one of these and signs. I don't know what it's called. Um, the pages are pretty thin, but that's okay. And there's like the spot for the date up at the top. And um, the inside covers have blue with polka dots. Um, I'm trying to save the ones that I'm the most excited for for last. Um, this one is also by Markings by C.R. Gibsons, and there's um, maps in the front and the back of it. Um, normally I don't like when there's designs on pages, but this is like so subtle I don't think I'd really mind, and it's like just a compass on each side, and it has the dotted lines, and it's so pretty. It has a compass on it that wraps around, and it says... Discover your dreams on it. It's a pretty small one. I have tiny hands. And it just is like the same size as my hand. But there's a lot of pages I think in here. I don't know how many are in here. But there's a good amount. And it does have a bookmark too. This next one I also picked out. And this is by the brand. What is the... I think it's Plum. And the... Um, there's a card in the back because uh, yeah it's by Plum so they pick artists to design their perfect journal so this one has like clouds on the front and then the back has a ladder I was trying to get the sticker off I'll get that off another time but what I really liked about this one is um, if I can open it it has nice lined paper but on some pages there's pictures from the person who designed it. So this is this one. And at the back there's some plain pages too. But there's pictures on some of the paper. And I thought it was so pretty. This next one is also by Markings. And it has a city on it. Because I love Markings journals. Um, this is like... There's a yellow bookmark, there's a pocket, um, I like it a lot. That's the back. This has, um, 240 pages. These two came together. They, um, are huge, and they say notebook on the front. Um, these came in a set, I think you get them at Costco. These are by Letterbox, and this is the inside. They have the spacing on the lines is a little thicker than I think I would like, but I do really like the journals. They have like bookmarks in them too, and they have pockets at the back underneath this little page. They have pockets. So yeah. These will also be nice since I'm trying to not use up as many journals, but at the same time, I want to write. Well, I've been writing a lot. This is the thing that came off of them. I have it in here just so I can remember. Now for, um, I got this moleskin. This is a journal that's a bit more expensive that I've been looking forward to. This one I picked out myself from Winners, and my mom got it for me for Christmas. So it was from Winners. It's like a blend collection, so it has like a fabric cover. Um, 
there's this part. Um, I have never used a moleskin journal, but I'm excited to. I love the like feel that the paper has, and the lines are nice. There's also pockets in these, and they have bookmarks. And I also got a plain black moleskin. So it's the same on the inside, but this is just a plain black hardcover. I'm also really excited to use this one. And this is the last one I got, which I think is so pretty. It's really small, so this will probably only last me a month. But these are um, designed by different artists. So this one um, is designed by this girl. Her name's Maxine Noel. I'm going to try and focus on it better. So she designed the art on the cover of this, and I thought it was so pretty. So I'm probably going to use this one in the fall, probably in October. Um, I think this is the brand right there. They make different things other than journals. The pages are kind of thin too, but it's so pretty. And there's a little pocket in the back. And I like to use small journals. I also like to use medium-sized ones. Not so much like super big ones, just because I can't bring them around with me everywhere. But I'm really excited for everything I got. And I'm so thankful that I got all these journals. I'm going to have enough journals for a while. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all had um, a good holiday season. If you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or if you don't celebrate any of them. I hope you just had a good end of 2017. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.